Okay, hello guys. So today we're gonna to look at a seven meter seventy seven long jump. Uh, so we're gonna talk about one sort of specific thing in the video that will help people jump further. That's very neglected, especially for the people who have a lot of frequency and a lot of speed down the runway. So what we're actually gonna talk about today is what you do when you get to the board to increase distance in the overall jump. So one thing you probably take note of here is how fast, or how much speed, sorry, that's brought through the board. So I'm not the quickest person down the runway, but you'll see I don't really lose a lot of speed in the last few steps of the jump. You can see it coming down here. Now that's just part of the puzzle. So the second part is actually what you do when you get to the board. So a lot of people, they come down a lot of frequency, they come down very quick and they get to the board and it's just totally rushed and their foot lifts off the board really quick and they don't actually allow themselves to push long enough. So one thing I like to think of when I get to the board is actually to hold on to the board as long as possible and try and get my body as far into the sandpit or as far away from the board as possible before my foot actually leaves the board. This, um, some people call it hip displacement. I kind of like to see it as free distance. So if my foot has left the board about here, compared to my foot leaving the board here, that's about an X or 20 centimeters, just on holding, holding, holding as long as possible. You'll find as well, that brings a lot of speed down through the board. So there's different types of cues people can give. People like to try to pull, pull the ground as they jump. One of my cues is, is to leave my foot behind me as long as possible, so get a really big stretch off that foot. Now, sometimes you can see I tilt my head back, but that's uh, that's just small things to work on. So again, if you look at it again this time, how long the foot stays in the board or how long it pushes, you'll see, uh, see it's actually quite long. And that in turn was a seven meter 77 jump. So one thing you'll find is the more frequency you have, the timing changes. So holding your foot on the board for a 650 jump is going to feel different to holding your foot on the board for a 750 jump and an 850 jump. The hold will be slightly less, but there still, still should be a longer hold than what all the contacts are down the runway. So if your contacts on the runway are 0.1 of a second, then you probably need about a 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2 of a second um, when you jump. Super, okay, short one this week. I'll try and keep them all under five minutes just because I know I can talk a lot and these can drag on. See you guys soon.